Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In this video I will show you how I created a beautiful dashboard like this one that I have here right in my background and I will give you all the steps and how you can do your own with the images uh, that you want to use on your own dashboard. let me start with a quick tour of the shack so i can show you uh, where i use the dashboard you can see i have a three monitor setup for my main computer this one that is uh, in the middle with the red um, square around it is the monitor that i use for the dashboard when i share my screen with you uh, i will uh, i will show you uh, the dashboard using that monitor uh, the other thing that I wanted to uh, maybe show you the rest of the shack is to show that I also have um, a separate Raspberry Pi running here, uh, the um, ham clock, uh, very popular um, uh, dashboard also. Then the, on the on the right side is the rest of the um, of the workbench where I have more monitors for two computers that I'm running here. Uh, as you can see, uh, there is no lack of uh, of monitors on the um, shack. All right, uh, first uh, let me start with uh, what was the source of my inspiration. Uh, to build my own dashboard, which is the dashboard by N2MXX, uh, which I'm showing uh, you here. So let me uh, remove some of the titles from the screen. So you can see that dashboard in, um, in its, its full glory. Um, I found this uh, uh, almost by accident. I'm not sure what I was looking for when I came across uh, this dashboard and I really like it and um, M2MMXX is um, the website uh, maintainer of the New Jersey emergency communications team so um, this is this is their website here at the bottom um, you can see uh, Dave N2MXX uh, as a website maintainer so let, let, let's go back to his dashboard and uh, let's uh, i'm gonna put a full screen so this is easier to see it um first thing you notice when you put a full screen is uh, the screen doesn't adjust uh, um, itself to the new size to the extended size and it has um, a lot of useful information a lot of very nice imagery all together in one place he has put at the bottom here the date the utc time and the local time and um, i'm not sure why for what reason is the time is coming twice in here uh, there is uh, the refresh uh, button in here uh, to reload the contents the version of uh, his dashboard in this gray bar at the bottom uh, v2.24 which is the latest and then uh, um, he placed uh, buttons in here that it will um, show different websites on the dashboard. So let, let's start with the first one. You have reference. Um, you have eCars, which um, is no loading for some reason on my machine. Uh, then you have um, a radar imagery. Uh, you have uh, Pora. Uh, website which is the the, the port app website um, you have uh, this very popular contest uh, website that has all the details of all the upcoming and current contests uh, then you have this short wave lis listener um, information and uh, the last button that he put in his dashboard is the uh, net logger where you can see the current net and um, other information that is available on the net logger uh, website so i'm gonna go out of full screen um, i'm going to go back to um, the main page of their um, dashboard from from dave from n2mxx so um, uh, this was great but um, there are a few things that i um, believe that i could i could improve 
uh, on the um, on on its on this dashboard uh, to to make it better or to make it more useful for me, like for example removing the um, this bottom um, gray line which is. Uh, there is no purpose to be always showing on the screen. It's taking a lot of real estate. The the date, the time, this uh, black part here with all this information is also taking a lot of real estate on the screen. And then I thought um, I will I will download and I will follow the instructions and I'm gonna make those changes. So and that it takes me to um, the, the problem that I found. Uh, uh, Dave in 2MXX, it has uh, this PDF with instructions on how you can make changes uh, into the dashboard. But uh, the changes that he allows into, into his own dashboard are very limited. Uh, you can change uh, the, some images or you can change some website, but you cannot change uh, anything else. Right, you cannot change. The, um, uh, you cannot modify the rest of the structure, and you cannot also um, dist distribute your dashboard um, if you are making changes. So, um, as you can see here, I highlighted that part, which is very clear. Is the first sentence: Hamshack dashboard is offered as a freeware. Uh, it may be used and dis distributed freely without modification, and provided that the copyright information is not removed. So based on that, uh, I thought I need to start my own and um, I'm going to build my own dashboard, which I'm going to make available with the source code and I want to share with you and you can uh, use, change anything you want, remove, uh, in mind there is no copyright, so you can uh, do whatever you want and you will find the code on uh, mine on GitHub. So let me switch to the dashboard that, that I created and let me walk through the different functionality that I uh, added and the main differences with the previous one that I show you. Uh, so I have the dashboard here. Uh, let me put it in um, full screen mode with F11. As you can see, as uh, soon as you press um, F11, the the dashboard automatically readjusts itself all the images to take the entire um, space on the screen and at the same time if you go out of full screen it will do that and also if you um, go from uh, maximize maximize mode to normal mode yeah, the um, all the pictures um, readjust uh, automatically so this is called web responsive if you change the size of your browser it will um, also readjust uh, automatically the uh, the images so le let's go back to maximize uh, the browser and let's go back to full screen and let's go through the um, different options uh, that we um, that we added. So the first um, main changes that you will see here on the screen is in the code that I rewrote from scratch. Uh, I remove um, the the um, uh, we don't have a bar a permanent bar here at the bottom taking the space. Uh, the now the date the um, local time are on the left side in the middle of the screen you have uh, you can put your call sign and your um, locator or whatever else you want to put in there and on the right side or the right um, uh, top corner I, we have the utc time the menu uh, now for the um, options that you the pages that you can bring uh, are tacked into this um, drawer into the right so um, you have of course back you have a refresh you can do a refresh of everything uh, you can help if you click the help it will show you a uh, basic functionality of uh, what you can do on the page in uh, uh, in cat uh, this is a, this is another page that i created uh, is local so it, it's allowed me to control from the browser my rotator and my radius uh, any of my radios I will I will make a video about this um, um, cat controller via web in um, uh, in a separate video. So if you're interested into into see that, uh, please uh, wait for that video to come out. Then we have I have club log. 
uh, I have uh, the contest, which is the same site um, on the previous dashboard. Uh, I have ham clock, and this is my ham clock that I was showing you uh, before that I'm running in a separate big screen on the side. In case that I wanted to see it here, I can also uh, bring it because it has a web interface. Uh, I have uh, a lightning. You can see your lightning in North America. Uh, I have uh, my Pi Star for my DMR uh, hotspot, and um, I have a radar for um, the local Canadian weather for precipitation and things like that for my area. Uh, I have a very useful uh, site. It's called Time Is, which um, allows not not just the time, but this is the important. If you are um, uh, FT8. Uh, user then it's very important to have exact time in your computer and you can check that here on this side and um, the last one i have winds which it shows the all the winds and if i click in the area where i live i can see in my area the winds are from the 80 degrees and at eight kilometers per hour so the you can add more buttons in here. There is no limitation. You can add up to the, probably the bottom of the page. So there is capacity probably for eight or nine more uh, buttons and uh, different website or options that you want to add. If you want to go back, you just click the back option here. You go back to the main dashboard. And there are a couple of uh, big changes um, in this one. So number one, any of these images you can zoom in right with the um, scroll of your mouse like i'm doing here and not only you can zoom in you can also drag the image it's just to move the image to the area that you are interested if you double click on the image it will bring the image in full screen and here you also have the zoom capability and the dragging of the image option and to go back to the previous uh, full view of all the dashboard you just double click the image and you go back so th those are uh, basically the um, enhancements i made on my own version of the dashboard the zooming uh, the panning the, of the image uh, removing all um, empty or wasted space between the pictures and um, having the menu only uh, showing the when you need as drawers that you can pull them from, from that side of uh, the screen. So that's everything. Uh, I hope uh, that you find this useful. I will uh, put uh, the um, uh, links on the, um, on the GitHub uh, on the um, description of the video. So you can find the code for this uh, dashboard. But before we finish with the video, let's go very quickly through the source code. It's only one file uh, where you have everything and uh, you can download that file to your own computer and open that file in your browser just from there. So I will walk through that file code so uh, I can show you where you can customize the options to make my dashboard your own. So I have here a... Um, Visual uh, Studio Code open with the, um, this file. Uh, I call it ham-html. Let me remove uh, the overlays so it's easy for you uh, to see it. Um, it's very simple. Uh, the, we have the styles uh, for everything that is on the page at the top. And this is pretty much, you don't have to change that unless you want to make big changes. So I'm going to scroll down this part very quickly. Uh, then we have the scripts part. Um, uh, this is all the JavaScript part of the sec of the, um, this HTML page. And in this, um, uh, we have the first, the loading the library um, that it does all the zooming on the images and by the way it's just two files it's not just one file like i mentioned um, earlier because i forgot that you need to have this uh, library file also i will put it on my um, github as well on the same repository so the the a url um, array is has all the uh, options the um, the first value is the color of the menu then is the text of the menu the um, 
third value is the link and the um, last value is the um, scaling on the page so as you can see here for example on the club log option this is the color of the club log button this is the text this is the link of the club uh, log my live stream in clublog.org and I am using um, a scale factor of 1.7 uh, just to make it uh, um, bigger on my screen on my dashboard and so on and so forth for all the options in the menu. So if you want to add more pages, the only thing that you need to do is just to add sections uh, like this with the color of your button, the title of your button, the link of the website that you want to bring. And if you want to scale it up or scale it down compare of the original site size this is regarding the menu now regarding the images is exactly the same um, you can have uh, 12 images uh, for now because i'm working on a new version that um, i'm planning to do like a slideshow in each box so that could bring the dashboard uh, to to have unlimited number of images but that that will be on a next release um, so I was telling you, uh, th those are all the images. So the first um, component of the um, of the line is the name of the title that appears on the dashboard image. And the second is the source of that image. In some cases, it will be external sources from your um, network, like the majority of them. But for example, um, there, there was one of the image that is uh, the ham clock uh, muf uh, propagation chart which i am bringing that directly from my ham clock and and this is the ip address of my ham clock uh, uh, raspberry pi server and uh, that's it the um, uh, there is no, no much on on that you can change uh, any of this and um, if you want to make other changes you can read the code and make any changes you want everything is is open source and uh, and free here um, you have the you can put your call sign and your locator or any text you want in the middle part of the dashboard and the last part is the html body of the page which is only the div containers there is nothing else here to touch change or modify um, because if you do it will uh, screw up the entire dashboard that's uh, everything uh, folks i hope uh, you like uh, the video if you do please remember to hit like and subscribe and uh, you can check or you can find the links to the github to find the files of the dashboard in the description uh, section below the video in uh, youtube thanks uh, for watching and until the next time